I'm going to give you a demo of the alarm clock we designed for our capstone project at Northeastern University. It connects to Google Calendar over a Wi-Fi connection and automatically wakes you up at the ideal time each morning. It looks at your first task for the next day and then calculates how long it's going to take you to drive there, factors in weather and traffic information, adds in how long it takes you to eat your breakfast and shower in the morning, and then wakes you up at the specific ideal time to get you to your place every day. Now we're looking at the main screen of the device. In the middle we have big bold numbers showing the current time and date. Up in the top right corner you show the temperature and the weather and over on the left is the alarm settings currently set at 635 for a meeting at 8 the next morning. Now we're looking at the main web UI where you can set things like your Google Calendar address, your home location, your zip code, a cool thing called My Destinations where you can set shortcuts so you, instead of typing in the full address every time you just put in work or home and other things like the earliest and latest times you want the alarm to wake you up or the default time. Now that we're in Google Calendar, I'm going to create an event for a minute from now so that I can show you how this works. It's currently 2.42 p.m. so I'm going to make the event for 2.43 p.m. and we'll call it a meeting at home. Since I used the home keyword for location, it won't add any extra travel time. I'm now going to hit the sync button on the device to force a manual update, otherwise it downloads data every 10 minutes or so. Once the information has been downloaded from Google Calendar, you'll see the upper left updated to 2.43 p.m. In a few seconds, the alarm should go off. And there we go. So you can see the light turned on automatically, and the buzzer started ringing, which are the two settings we had configured. So there's buttons here you can choose to sleep or turn the alarm off, so we're going to turn it off. You can go into the alarm menu, and you can choose alarm sources. So you can set the iPod, the FM radio, or the buzzer to go off. And you can choose the volume that it wakes you up at, or you can set a master to sleep. You can set other things in the menus, such as the brightness, where you can dim the screen for at night when you go to sleep. Other options are you can be woken up by an iPod if you connect it to our dock connector or an FM radio. So we're going to turn on the FM radio here. And you can hear it playing. You can tune between FM radio stations. And when you pick a station you like, you can save it to a favorite bank that can be recalled later. The last two screens that I want to show you are the iPod control screen where you can pause or play and skip forward and backwards on an iPod if one was connected, and the light screen where you can control all the lights in your house from push buttons on the device. See them turning on and off. That's it for the demo. You can find more details on our website.